Alrighty guys, this is the last kind of data that I would like to show you, the last type of data that you guys would see. Um, pictographs. So remember pictographs has this word right here, picked, which if you kind of just keep writing, it's picture. So that means that we're going to be using pictures in our graph. Same data, same everything. So we've got Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, 0, 10, 5, so when you have a pictograph, you could either do it horizontally, which means side to side, or vertically, which is up and down. I personally want to do um, horizontally just because I like the way it looks. So you're still go you're going to need a space for your title. So these are for my four Pokemon. This is for my title. So here's going to go the name of the Pokemon or the type of Pokemon. So same thing that we've done on all of them. Type of Pokemon. Okay. So these are where all the types are going to go. This is going to be number of students. Because remember, this whole graph is talking about favorite Pokemon. So we always got to go back and remember what is our whole graph talking about to find these two titles. So here, same as always, I'm just going to write the first letter. So we got Pikachu, we got Bulbasaur, we've got Charmander. Oh no, I used the wrong color. Charmander. And then Squirtle. So I'm going to do that. So you have to decide what kind of picture you want to use. You can choose whatever you would like. It could be squares. It could be triangles. It could be anything. It wouldn't really make sense for you to draw like pieces of pizza since we're not talking about pizza. But it would make sense to draw like a Pokeball. So just like with the dot plot, we had to decide one dot equals how many. So just like here, I don't want to draw 10 pictures of something. That's going to take up way too much space. So I want to make it make a scale or a key. So I'm going to put my scalar key over here. And I want to draw a Pokeball. I'm going to try and draw a Pokeball. Pretty good. So this is going to equal two students. So if I have Pikachu, Pikachu had 10 students. So I need to put five Pokeballs. So one, two, three four, five. And what I want you to realize too is I've always, every year I have students who really, really, really try and get their pictures perfect. Guys, this does not have to be perfect. We, some of us are artists and some of us are not. Like Mr. Dutia is not an artist, but I can tell what that is. So I'm not going to go over here and try and color it in all this stuff. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that you understand that each one of these counts for two, which is going to give me Bulbasaur, poor Bulbasaur, every day, zero. Charmander has five. So again, if I'm counting by twos, two, four, well, I can't add a whole other one because that's going to give me six. So I have to draw half, which would give me five. So this is two, this is two, and this is one, which would give me five. And then this one has two Pokeballs. So again, guys, we have our title for the whole graph. We have our title for this column. We have our title for this column. We have our key. We have our categories listed. We have the data already input. This is literally a way for us to just in a nicer way than just writing out the numbers like this. So now your job is to take some of the data that we took that we've been using all week, any of those five, six categories that I put on there, you can pick and do a graph like this, do a pictograph today.